Hello, welcome back to another brand new video. Walk with me and Keely. And yet, yeah, we're actually inside the cockpit of a Trans Pennine train. I know it sounds a bit daft, and how many people actually get to actually do a YouTube video uh, inside one of these? To be honest, they actually don't. But it's absolutely wonderful. It makes you wonder what these guys actually go through when they're driving these. I mean, look how many people actually goes onto the tracks. You know what I mean? Look how many people gets hit with trains. And I do feel sorry for all these drivers. I mean, of course, I've got a young man with me from, obviously, Trans Pennine. I don't know if he wants to talk on camera or not. Oh, put me on time, camera. <laughs> well, while, well, while I'm doing this then, do you just want to talk a little and just explain about what it's like for drivers? Uh, well, you just got to watch where you're going, basically. That's, that's all I know. I've been, I've been driving 17 years, been on Railway 36. But uh, I, just, I just turn up for work. So what's it like for you drivers then, mentally and physically, if somebody steps out onto the tracks? Remember, they're not like cars, trains, no, no, you know no, what I mean? No, I had it at nuclear. They can't just... Oh, so you was one of the new Klee ones when that yes. bloke got it. Yeah. Can I just ask, um, what happened? I mean, did he jump out? No, no, he, he, he was hiding behind bushes and dived out. Literally dived in front of the train. Literally dived in the front of your train? Yeah. Wow. Mad. So, how did you feel then, if you don't mind me asking? I know... Uh, not too bad. I've just got to sleep for one, uh, for one, one night. Then, uh, turn around to my manager to get me back to work. Three and a half weeks off, I can't work. So, uh, so what do you need to do? I know it's a really dumb question, but I'm sure our viewers and subscribers would actually love to know what buttons do what. Um, what when you have a, a fatality? Well, yeah, and I mean, uh, you know, you get a phone signal up and uh, ask them to get ambulance, police, and probably a, co a coroner. Well, as we know, if you get it with a a I'll car. Say, yeah, I'd say just put, as soon as you see him, just put your brakes straight into emergency. And will just stop. Hmm, mad. So how fast does one of these go then? Um, if you don't mind me. 100 miles an hour. 100 miles an hour? Yeah. Wow. So what buttons do what in here then, if you don't mind me asking? Um, yeah, you know, like, to send it well, forward and that. And hold up a minute. Good afternoon. Right, that's a normal. That's going, that's a brake. That's going, that's pump powering. It's not working at the moment because the doors are open and I've got uh, DRA on. Yeah. Forward, reverse, that's AWS when it goes off. Uh, that, that, that's your lights. So, <laughs> so what about the dead man's uh, pedal as it's oh, called? That's down here. Yeah, because I do know from what I've learned about some trains, um, there's a sensor on the track, and um, when you go over it, it beeps, and you do have to press it to make it so. What, what, what with the? Uh, with the dead man's pedal. No, no, it's it's when it's when you're not touching anything for a minute. It goes off every minute, long as you're not uh, taking speed or doing AWS. Right. Because uh, I thought the dead man's pedal was there's a sensor on the track when you go over it. It beeps, and then no. when it beeps, you have to press it. So that alerts the office or um, control room, no, or no, you know. Uh, this is just to keep to keep you aware. That, that's what it, that man's for. Right. Oh, so I've been told it a little bit yeah. wrong then. It's AWS. You get it. If you don't hit that within three seconds when it goes off, automatic brake comes on. Yeah, I do know about the automatic yeah. braking system. I do know that if you don't do a certain thing, it does like stop. You know, you know what I mean, like. Yeah. Right. So yeah, right. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. Like, share, subscribe, and enjoy. And now, of course, like I said, you've seen inside of a Trans Pennine cab, and the bloke has explained how things work, and is just showing you. It doesn't want to be on camera, and I fully, <laughs> I fully understand why. Um, you know, because I know a lot of people don't want to be on camera. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, and to all you train lovers out there. This is uh, another bonus pro YouTube channel as well. So right, bye for now. Um, me and Keely will definitely see you on the next one. Bye for now.